I entered the GitHub Game Off 2020 Game Jam. I'll have one month to make a game based on the theme, Moonshot. Alright boys, listen up. We need to create a game in 5 days, make it look like it took 30 days, and of course, use the blob. I spent an hour thinking of ideas for the game, and ultimately decided to create a game about blobs fighting on the moon. Let's fire up Unity and start our game. First we'll add a skybox and import Bob the Blob. Let's code up a player controller to get Bob moving. And by code up, I mean copy and paste code from my Minecraft video. Thank you. Now with our new player controller, we've got Bob moving. Let's add physics. I added a rigid body so Unity would consider Bob a physics object. Now we just code up some jumping and our player controller is complete. Well, not quite. Unity's default physics has gravity always pulling you down. But in Moonblob, I want the gravity to always pull you towards the moon that you're currently on. Similar to Mario Galaxy, I want Moonblob to have some of the same orbiting physics. Orbiting occurs when your tangential velocity is faster than gravity can pull you down. Since the direction gravity's pulling you is always changing, instead of falling down to Earth, you actually orbit around it. To do this, I created a gravity attractor and a gravity body script. Objects with the boring. Let's try it out. I've spent three days just working on the physics. I don't know if I'll be able to get this done without a Herculean effort. There's still so much left to do. If we're gonna fight blobs in this game, we need something to fight them with. We could shoot the blobs, but if we use normal bullets, they won't do anything because they're blobs. So we need to get more creative. I pulled out Blender and made the ultimate weapon for fighting blobs, a net. Now that's a lot of nets. Because there's no air resistance in space, the nets will travel at whatever speed we shoot them at. Fast enough to pop the blobs. Bob's looking kinda ugly. Let's clean him up a bit. While I'm at it, let's build the net gun. With the net gun, Bob looks much better. I have to make the graphics look as high quality as possible. If I want to make this game look like it's fit for a 30-day game jam, I need a high-quality UI. Time to create the enemy blobs. I recoded Bob's core logic to use inheritance, which enabled the enemy blobs to have similar movement functionality as well. Alright everyone, class is back in session. I want Moonblob to have waves of enemies similar to the RuneScape fight games, where each wave of enemies gets progressively more difficult. To do this, Wave 1 will have a single weak enemy. Wave 2 will have two weak enemies. When there are two of the same enemy on a wave, they'll combine into a stronger enemy on the next wave. Our first enemy will be named Peep. Peep is the most boring enemy in the game. Peep will follow you around if it's on the same moon as you. If it hits you, you'll take damage. The next blob will be called Blurp. 
Blurp is slow and blobby. When it dies, it spawns two peeps where it dies. Be careful against globs. They'll shoot nets right back at you. Ow. Ow. Bye bye. One of the most deadly blobs in the galaxy. The Yog. Yogs are vicious creatures. Just look at it. Disgusting. Ubi comes packing with two net guns. He's also the boss of Easy Mode. Much like Blurp, when Ubi dies, it spawns two globs. There are three more boss blobs that have yet to be revealed. But you'll have to play the game first. Wishlist on Steam, link in the description below, help me fight the Steam Lord, in order to unlock them. Also, subscribe to the channel, or the blobs will... Uh, be blobs. I've got one day left till the end of the jam, so it's time to polish the game. Let's make a menu and allow the players to choose the game's difficulty. I noticed it can be a bit hard to locate blobs in some of the large movies. To solve this, I'm going to create a UI right under the wave counter that shows which blobs are on which moves. I'll have to bust out those Photoshop skills and take pictures of all the blobs. Finally, the moons look really bland with their monocolor so we have to get some nice textures. Thank you. With the new textures, the moons look very professional. I only have 20 hours left to complete the jam. It's time to create the final boss. It took an extra six hours, but I finally completed the final boss. Good luck fighting this blob. You're gonna need it. We need to create a save system to store achievements and progress. The game is nearly complete, but I want to add one final tweak to the main menu. I created a new camera on the moon map, made a pivot for the camera to rotate around, filmed the rotation, cut the footage in DaVinci Resolve, and then brought the footage back into Unity as a raw texture video player on the main menu. The game is finally complete. But before I submit it, I have a challenge for all the viewers who've made it this far. Moonblob will release in January. To anyone that can get the gold trophy on the hardest difficulty of Moonblob will receive a special role in both of my Discord servers. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and wishlist Moonblob on Steam to help stop the blobs from taking over the galaxy. See you in the next video.